Here is Danny and today I asked yesterday on Twitter and here on my YouTube channel what for a video I should make. And someone came with a map tier list. So here I am with some high quality tier listing and stuff. Talking shit about some people's favorite maps and talking less shit about others. Let's go. The worst map for me is Panzerstorm. Open, big and not fun. Not even that good on smaller modes. And that is coming from someone who likes to tank. Second worst, Twisted Steel. Sure the bridge is cool, the rest is just open filler with Minecraft trees. And the TDM area is the worst I have ever seen. Third place, it is Fjell. Super bright, tons of plane rape, long lines of sight, barely any cover, and even for a more CQB map, it is not that good in smaller modes either. Fourth place is Hamada, open sniper heaven. Pretty nice on TDM and domination though, but awful on frontlines. Then there is Osendam, the same story as Panzerstorm and Hamada, but I do kinda like it on the smaller modes and frontlines. If only frontlines was still a thing, but that was its saving grace. Then there is Solomon Islands. If I wanted to play an eye test, I'd play Where's Wally. It can have some decent moments though. The same is for Pacific Storm. Everyone is always just camping in those bloody bushes. If you remove those players, it's an okay map. Also, camping in the big turret on TDM is a nice meme. Next is Operation Underground. It's like Metro, but worse. With blinding lights when you walk outside the tunnel, and also for some reason they added balconies where you can shoot from, which is just silly. After that Iwo Jima on Conquest, I absolutely hate it on Breakthrough. So much fun arriving on a super open beach with 32 monkeys looking at you and then pushing over another super empty hill. But for Conquest it works fine. It also helps that you can just ignore the beach and rush onto the tunnel flags and that makes it far better. Then it is Aerodrome, would be a bit worse if it wasn't for the later fixes. The smaller modes are lovely, I never play operations and on conquest it has some decent tanking hours, unlike Panzerstorm which is just too open. Then there is Narvik, the non-offender, not special, not bad, the perfect 6 to be honest. Kinda forgettable though. Actually fun fact, I forgot to record this part in the script, it's that forgettable. I did write it though. Then there is Lofoten Island, fun in smaller modes and only smaller modes, but that is because it is only available in the smaller modes. I had a decent amount of fun there, especially on the domination layout. Next is Wake Island, the classic map, but what it lacks in sharks, it makes up with raving crabs. The gameplay itself is also fine and it is surprisingly good in Rush. After that there is the El Mar Encampment. While it doesn't fit a 64 man breakthrough at all, Conquest and the smaller modes are actually pretty good. Also a neat twist is that the layout can differ per match, with added or removed flags. Then there is Marita, some nice CQB memes with 64 players, also there is a tractor. The visibility is a bit poop though with 50 shades of brown and the C objective could have been better though. After that there is the other creek map, Mercury. It is amazing looking and I had some damn fun matches there too. Next up is the remake of Province. It went from an amazing domination and TDM map to an amazing domination and TDM map with some decent conquest too. Number 3 is Eris, one of the better maps in the game, good for every playstyle. And then the best 2 maps. Even though I am an Amsterdammer, I have to say. Rotterdam and Devastation. Good battles, nice layout, decent cover, although there could have always been more. And they have a decent flow to them. Devastation is on the first place because those damn train campers on Rotterdam drag it down a bit. I rank these maps higher than Arrows due to the lack of planes. No planes bombing you from above makes it automatically a better map. So yeah, what do you think of this list and tell me why you are wrong in the comments down below. But hey, that is all I got for now. Subscribe for more. This was Danny and I see you on the Battlefield. Also let me know if you want to see more poorly made tier lists of Battlefield items.
Yo.